What is the most important change that needs to happen after the election? Well, change is it. We need a change from where we are now. As I said earlier, we know we're losing buying power with our paychecks. We know we're losing jobs. We're exporting them overseas. So the change has to start taking place in the United States. We need a change in leadership that's going to say to the American people and to the Congress, Americans need more support at home. Americans need more opportunities to earn money and to take care of their families. We don't need more changes. We don't need more breaks for the large banks and the large uh, finance houses. We see what happens when they have unbridled reign to policies and projects that they want to put out there. So those things have to be under some kind of control, and working class people have to be given jobs and opportunities that they can benefit from. As a world peace ambassador, what change in foreign relations would you like to see after the election? Cheryl, what I learned in my time overseas, working with people in Eastern Europe and the Caribbean and Africa, was that most people of the world love the American people. They don't always love our governments, but they love the American people. And I think programs, an old one like the Peace Corps and other programs where young folks, even older people, can volunteer to go overseas and work directly with people in third world countries and countries of Eastern Europe that are coming out of years of oppression. These are the kind of changes that we need, not so much a high level diplomatic post, but citizen diplomats, Americans who go overseas and want to live and work with people from across the whole world. Those are where the real changes are being made because those are very real, very personal, and much in depth. And those are what foreigners respond to about the American people. What change would you like to see in Ohio cities doing together? Well, there are a lot of things that the cities of Ohio can do together. Uh, programs to increase job opportunities and and really representing urban centers. I mean, we know that urban life and rural life and suburban life are, are so different and there's so much capacity in, the, in urban life and there's particularly in older cities like Cincinnati, so many beautiful old buildings, so many uh, cultural activities and cultural events and venues. So, you know, we could we could promote those all over the all over the state and there's opportunities, kind of universities to exchange as professors and exchange students, art uh, venues to exchange students and patrons. There's a lot of coming together we could do purchasing programs that would uh, give us more purchasing power if we did it collectively rather than each city separately. Even right here in Hamilton County, you know, where, where the city council is looking at programs to do some uh, collective buying, which will reduce the cost per item and make it more economical for everyone. So. There, there, are, there are a lot of opportunities, and we just have to get a little creative about that, how we can do that, but the opportunities are there. Uh, the three most important issues facing, I think, Ohioans today, in my opinion as a student at OSU, uh, have to be economy, the rising cost of tuition, and as well as gas prices. I mean, our economy is not there at all from what I can see, and I've been in this country for a number of years, and you know, I've seen it go from you know, amazing stats you know, from when the first Bush was here, you know, when Clinton came in afterwards, you know, we had a surplus, and now we're running a record deficit that I have never seen even in my country done before. Um, as a student, you know, the rising cost of tuition is definitely something I take personally because I hate to declare bankruptcy before I even get out in the workforce personally. And, you know, gas prices for, you know, students or anyone alike, it's, you know, it's hard when you're looking at like four or five dollars a gallon of gas when, you know, just this time last year it was just over three bucks. So, you know, that's something that I personally take, you know, consideration at when I look at issues facing everyone here. So, in regards to actually improving the economy in the state of Ohio, I think having someone in the House, uh, someone such as Governor Strickland, an aggressive politician in there that's going to know when to make the you know, necessary cuts and also keep the programs that are needed, um, expanding the workforce, I mean definitely giving more on-the-job training, off-site training, um, expanding our global markets in Ohio as well, such as bringing in foreign industry, um, whether it's steel, whether it's automotive, anything. Um, that is key, and the only way he's going to be able to do that if he's got the support of the House and you know, having the State House be on the Democratic side obviously will help him a lot because he can pass the necessary legislation that he needs there. The three most important issues facing Ohio are the economy, um, lack of affordable health care, and the most important issue to me is the um, lack of equality within the education system. I think um, if we put all the schools on a more equal level, then a lot of these, problem, these social problems we're having will start to kind of solve themselves. Um, the three most important things in this upcoming election, I believe, is uh, to have some stability and regulations that make sense for our economy and the way money's exchanged. Um, it's not already too late. 
and uh, our energy sources need to be more abundant and sustainable and there, nobody's been working on that in the last 20 years or uh, other countries are way ahead of us and um, our recidivism rate everyone goes in and out of jail and our communities aren't connected and empowered I think uh, whoever comes into the office uh, needs to work on those three things. What technology should be developed in the United States? And that should have been developed a long time ago, and that is green energy. Um, we cannot be dependent on the energy sources we have. The coal plants that are burning uh, awful pollutants into our atmosphere and we need to go green we need to do what other countries are doing they're doing it they've been doing it and we can too and that will build our economy back up we need to do to improve our our economic structure here is just retool our automotive industry which you know was the back of the middle class for 40 years and i you know we have the um, infrastructure i just believe a little you know i'm not saying the government needs to step in but ohio needs to step up and improve, you know, the uh, manufacturing, Delco Moraine, you know, the GM plants in Dayton that are closing down, G you know, manufacturing in Cleveland. We have the infrastructure. We just need to retool it to provide what the people want to buy, whether that be solar panels or more fuel efficient cars. What is Ohio's biggest issue? Uh, this is the economy is really messed up. It's got to be the economy. The economy is a really big one. What about you, the Ohio citizen? Are you independent? Are you going to vote? Change happens when you vote. Have you decided?